Welcome, in front of me is an iPhone 13 mini and today I will show you how to load up music to this device. So if you're one of the uh, not so many people that prefer to have music on your device instead of in the cloud, uh, then this is basically for you. So uh, if you're using Windows, you will need to download iTunes, which can be done through uh, Microsoft Store. Uh, I already have it installed, as you can see it's running right here. So that's one. And if you're using an Apple computer, any kind of Mac, uh, you don't actually need to download anything. Um, basically everything comes baked into the system, so all you really need to do is open up your music application. And once you connect your device, which you can see mine already is, it should show up in the music application on Apple. And if you're using iTunes, it will basically show up right here in the corner. So click on it. And there is two ways of uh, basically syncing up your music to your device. Uh, there is the easy, uh, super fast way, and then there is the uh, convenient way, uh, at least, but just later on. At the beginning, it's slow. So let me explain what I mean. Right here, we have options, and we should have somewhere... Oh no, it should be right here under music. Uh, when you go here, we have the sync music. It will show you how many songs you have, how many playlists, and so on. It basically syncs everything to the device, assuming you have enough space on it. And if, for some reason, uh, you're like me, and you don't always want to sync everything to your device because you have a little bit more music than it's reasonable, you will need to pick and choose. So in this case, you'll be selecting specific playlists, artists, albums, and so on, which you kind of, well, do kind of like this. And then you apply done or apply, and then it's gonna sync the selected ones to the device. But once you select this, you will always have to resync it this way. So if you add a new artist, you will need to go back here and then add this specific artist, select it, and then apply, and it's gonna resync everything. So, um, like I said, it, this method is quicker in general when you start off. You can just select whatever you want, uh, boom, you're done. Uh, but later on, if you just want to add a single track, uh, you won't be able to for some reason. So, if you would like to do something that I personally like to do, which is, as an example, let's just select, I want to copy all of this. I'm going to drag it over, drop it, right? And it's going to sync everything that I have dropped. And then I can just simply select some other stuff and do the same thing. So actually, just so I don't actually talk and do nothing, I'll just scroll down, see what I get out here. So let's just select, um, maybe not all of it, sorry. Um, so let's select a couple here. So um, just to clarify this, if I went with the sync option through music uh, right here, I wouldn't be able to just do this. For some reason, if you want to manually add music and you have previously synced that it's not an option, you literally need to remove all the music that you synced up to the device and redo it again. Uh, I personally prefer to spend more time and select each individual things that I want to uh, load up to the device. And then once I, I don't know, add more music to my iTunes, I can just simply just grab another one, drag it, and it just works. Now, you are totally free to go through the music right here, select sync, but as you can see, um, once you try it right now, it tells you that you need to remove the music that you already dropped into the device. Super smart device here. Uh, this is supposed to be a, a quotation mark a smartphone, and yet the application that it's using it uh, uses, it's so limiting, oh my god. So uh, iTunes is frustrating and I guess there is a reason why everybody moved to cloud music if they had to deal with this crap. But anyway, uh, if you want to, you can select remove and sync. And this basically removed all the music that I synced up to it. So if I go back in here, well, it should be empty now, which probably wasn't the be best idea. Let me quickly go back just so you can see it. Um, just so you can see it actually synced up. whoop de doo there we go. Syncing and library and you can see it right here so this is the music that i just synced up and as you can see uh this is the pop-up for the actual music sync not the copying uh the copying has already been done as you can see there is the uh two different artists that i synced up with what is it like three six nine ten songs 
Let's see if I have all 10 songs. Looks like I have actually more than 10. Two, three, four. Oh, so this is still the first sync with uh, also these tracks. So I didn't actually remove it right now. So anyway, uh, now if I go through this method, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate what's gonna happen. So remove and sync and time limit, okay. I'm um, not gonna select entire library. I'm just gonna go through playlists. So let's just go whoop d 2 right here. Actually, maybe not. Let's not repeat the same songs. So there we go. I selected three different artists, which I have no idea how many songs that is, but let's select apply. That's apparently 34 songs. And it's finished. So let's open up our... Uh, not really sure what the heck this is. Let's just get rid of it. Oh, I know what it is. Someone put a lock on it. Okay, there we go. So that, that was just a lock. Nothing really associated with the transfer. So right now, as you can see, we have different artists right here. Uh, so this is all, uh, all of the three artists that I synced up to it. And as you can see also, uh, the previous music is completely gone now. Uh, there's no more albums uh, that you've seen from I believe it was uh, If These Trees Could Talk and Millennium. So, going back to the syncing manually, uh, because this is right now kind of locked in, so if I would want to go back here and let's just select this. Oh, no way. They actually changed it. I was wrong then. So you can actually do it this way, which, holy... That actually changes a lot. So anyway, uh, as you can see, you can actually do it without a problem nowadays. So that's actually really nice. Now, I believe there is still one little uh, caveat to this, uh, which I don't really have a way of checking right now. Uh, at least that was the case before. When you try to sync music and you did it on your computer, and as an example, you have two computers and you plug it into a different one and you want to, I don't know, copy just a couple music from, a uh, couple songs from there to your device. Uh, at least it used to be like that, maybe they changed it as well. Uh, but that would require you to basically remove all your existing music and you'll be then just able to sync from the uh, new iTunes uh, to your device. So you basically would be locked into a single iTunes on your computer. Uh, but again, uh, like I mentioned, I was wrong about this. Uh, it used to be like that, but it can now actually copy the music so that's really nice so that could have changed as well but anyway uh, as you can see this is basically as complex as it gets you go either to the music and you sync it through here or you manually select whatever you want and you drag it over drop it and you're done there is all your music physically on your device no need to no need to have any kind of internet connections for this uh, the only thing you need is just headphones probably so anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.